Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Nastasia and today I am doing a little bit of like a unique kind of thoughtful gift ideas for the holidays. Um, and today's video is sponsored by Shaper Mint and I wanted to give them a little shout out because they're having a huge sale right now. Um, they're still doing their Black Friday sale for a little bit and then they're also doing a $1 million free shapewear kind of big sale where you can get some actual like free shapewear from their website and um, I've talked about them in the past a couple times. I wanted to shout out a couple things, um, specifically I have more than just this. Um, I have quite a few things from them and their quality has always been so good. But a couple things I wanted to shout out just that you would probably love to get your hands on, especially right now, is um, these black tights. They're one of those tights that um, you know, they kind of are a little bit like see-through as you wear them, which is so cute and perfect under dresses for Christmas and everything like that. But they also have like some kind of like tummy control and stuff up here that they just help you feel really confident in like your dresses and your skirts and stuff like that. And you definitely want to get a pair of these. They're so soft and they're very comfortable to wear and very strong. And then the other thing, I'm actually wearing one right now, <laughs> but I really enjoy their bras. Um, even if you're not super into like shape wear, they have some good quality bras. Um, you guys know I'm pregnant. And when you're pregnant, <laughs> your chest changes a lot. <laughs> during pregnancy and then after you give birth to the baby. And what I love about their bras is they come with an expandable like hook thing that goes on that you can add on. So it can help you in all like seasons of life. Like it can kind of grow or shrink with you depending on your need. Um, right now I need a little bigger as I'm changing and stuff like that. But um, point being, they have a bunch of awesome stuff right now um, on sale. So the $1 million like worth of free shapewear can campaign that they're doing is going through the December 9th. So definitely get your hands on that, especially to snag some in time for Christmas for someone or just for like a gift for you. I have a couple of my favorite products listed down below, including the tights and the bra, um, but they have a great, they have a great selection of stuff. I love their camis. They're really cool the way they work and they have some really great quality leggings as well. The way it works is when you shop in their site, free shapewear will automatically be added. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of like a little surprise. You can see in the checkout what's going to be added, which is really fun. And you can use my code NastasiaFree20 at checkout. Um, and like I said, I'll have everything listed below as well. But thank you to Shapermint. Such a cool thing that they have going on right now with some free shapewear. Um, like I said, their clothes in general are just really comfortable and great quality. Anyway, go check them out down below. With that, I thought I could transition to into like some holiday gift ideas that are maybe less common, but I think could be even more thoughtful. So like, for instance, if my mom got me clothing and stuff like that from a website like Shapermint that I loved, that's really thoughtful to me. Um, and on top of that, like there's other things that are unique and maybe not on every gift guide, but like especially like more minimalistic people or more kind of like proactive people might really enjoy. So if you end up liking this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. My Patreon is down below as well. If you'd like to hang out with me over there, I do post, post more over there. Um, but yeah, I'm still in my first trimester of pregnancy, so I'm feeling pretty rough. <laughs> it's uh, getting through and you're gonna have lots of pregnancy content coming soon. One of the first ideas I had, because some of these two I wanted to be like free or almost free in case you're on a budget, which I think is totally fine. Like some of the most amazing gifts are free. Um, and one that I thought of was finding all of your personal favorite recipes, whether they're on Pinterest or from your mom or your grandma or whatever, writing them all down and making like a little recipe book for somebody. This is great, especially for someone who loves to cook or bake. It could also be desserts or different things like that. I can barely even say those words right now because I have such bad food aversions right now. I hate <laughs> food right now, but I just thought this is such a cute idea. I couldn't not tell you guys. Um, but like you can make your own through like just like a binder or like a notebook, or you could get like, a, they sell really cute like recipe books that you can put like recipe cards in and you can fill it up with a bunch I think that's even more thoughtful than just getting somebody a recipe book. Um, one of my friends for our wedding gift, she got me, one of the gifts she got me was a recipe book and she put a few of her and her mom's favorite recipes in there. And I literally loved that because 
you don't just feel like they're getting you something they're like giving you something from the heart you know something they actually love because I feel like cookbooks are great and stuff like that but you're like is this actually gonna be good though but if you know like from a friend or something like no this is good this is one of my favorite things you're more likely to try it so I feel like that could be such a fun, easy way. You can even find stuff off of Pinterest that you know you've liked in the past and just write down the recipes and give it to them. Okay, another thing is um, plants. So that's become more of a popular gift in the past couple of years. People just love their plants recently. Most of my plants are dying at this point because I can't, I feel like I can't function and do anything at the moment. But um, I wanted to specifically point out plants that can like, produce fruit or herbs or something like that. I think there's something even more meaningful when you give somebody like um, like a peppermint plant that they can make peppermint tea from the thing they actually grew, you know? Or like, um, I don't know, like a strawberry plant. Or you can even buy people if they have a home where they can plant trees in the back or something, you could buy them a little fruit tree, like in a, like in a pot. You might have to do a little research of like your area, what fruit trees grow well. Um, but I think that'd be so cool. If somebody got me a freaking fruit tree for Christmas, I'm, we're not in a home right now, but if we had a home, I think that'd be so cool. You could grow like lemons for like 10 years and always think of them. I just think that's so cool. Um, so like a fruit tree or like a little herb thing, or you can make it really cute and get a couple different like herb plants and you can get them pretty cheap a lot of times if you like get them just in the like little plastic containers they come in and then get like a really cute planter or something and put them in there for them. Label them with a cute little label like kind of if you're crafty I feel like you'd love that. Um, I think that would be such a thoughtful gift like I would remember that kind of gift over anything else because I'd be like that is so cool I get to actually grow something and then eat it. So I, I just feel like that would be a really cool way as well. Another one and this is more if you're kind of artistic um, if you can paint draw like if you do pottery if you can create something and you know you're at least semi good at it do that make your friends or family something I know a big thing recently has been procreate and making like that digital art um, and like digital portraits of people on procreate I did I played around with it a little bit it's fun if I was good at it like good enough at it I'd probably do it for people but um, you could do something like that if you have that kind of talent don't think to yourself like well maybe I'm not that good maybe well if somebody made me a painting or a drawing that they did by hand and they like especially if they framed it or something I'd be like this is incredible like you know what I mean we I mean even with our kids like three-year-olds or something like that or nieces or nephews if they give you something and it looks like a tornado of markers you're still like this is gorgeous you know you still love it so it's the same if you're good at something and you can do something with your hands like do that you know also I wanted to take a little break one because I'm <laughs> out of breath <laughs> being out of breath when you're pregnant is a real thing people I feel like I'm not doing anything and yet I am struggling um, but I wanted to take a little break to point out as well G like know the person you're buying a gift for or ask people who know them um, because there is nothing worse <laughs> then when I get a gift from somebody, and I know they just wanted to get it for me. They didn't actually care about what I like. They didn't actually look to see what I was interested in, if it would be helpful to me. They just thought, oh, I like that. I'm gonna get it for them. Like, you should not be buying gifts that you like for somebody else. You should be buying gifts that they will like, that you're getting for them. It doesn't matter if you like them. So like, if all of my ideas that I'm saying right now, if a person in your life if you know they wouldn't like any of them, please don't get them that gift. <laughs> like, because it's not, it's not about you. That's like one of my biggest things that I'm passionate about when it comes to gift giving is I try to get to know what the person actually wants. Like, for instance, I don't love buying gift cards for people, but if somebody was genuinely like, all I want is a gift card, I would get them a gift card because it's not really my business or my choice of like, no, I'm, I don't want to get you that. I'm going to get you something else. Like, I, I anyway, though, I just wanted to point that out. Like, it is so important to be thinking about what the person actually wants. I wanted to add in a cute idea for kids. If you have any kids or nieces or nephews or little cousins or anything in your life, um, my little niece does not watch my YouTube videos, so I can say this. <laughs> but I'm actually going to make for her a little, like, DIY craft book. 
So kind of like I was talking about with the recipes, like I am probably going to get a binder or something like that and print out all these different crafts that I find on Pinterest or different things that I think she would love, that they're in one place, I might laminate it or something, that she can kind of flip through and see the different like uh, crafts and stuff that she might like and she can point out to her mom like I want to do this one or this one or whatever and they're pretty simple and stuff like that and I just feel like it's um, a nice easy way to do like an inexpensive gift that's also really thoughtful because she loves crafts and DIY so you could do stuff like that or <laughs> if you're an adult and you love crafting I love crafting this idea goes for that too dude if somebody gave me a binder of adult like crafts and DIY and stuff with all the instructions that would blow my mind. I would literally love that gift. I love crafting and DIY and stuff. So like, not just kids, but I think it could be a cool kids idea. Going off of kind of the handmade route, um, also just shop small anyway, if you can. Like that's already going to be a little bit more meaningful because people who have small businesses tend to put a little bit more care in the packaging and the quality and it's usually a little bit more unique. So that's always a safe bet if you're looking for something unique but you don't want, you don't really know what else to do try shopping small you can go on even etsy or different things or instagram a lot of people advertise their businesses there um but something i want to point out specifically is like handmade jewelry for instance so there are a lot of people who make like those clay earrings or something like that that are beautiful quality that they do such a good job it helps their family directly and you're usually paying less than like you would pay for a crappy pair at target or something like that um but yeah like there's i'll, I'll list actually one below that i tend to go to. I love her stuff. Her name is Becca and she's on Instagram. I think she's in Texas or something like that, but she ships. I don't know if she ships internationally, but she does ship like in the U.S. and stuff. And I think it's like maybe $14 for a pair of earrings or something. I forget, but they're clay and she has so many different kinds that she does and everything. And they're just beautiful and she ships them to you and that's the full price, even the shipping price and everything. And it's just so cool. I have a few pairs from her that I adore and they're so unique and they're so pretty. Getting some like handmade jewelry or a pair of those clay earrings from somebody who makes them, um, I think is such a sweet gift and really doesn't break the bank. I also wanted to point out the idea of doing experiences as gifts instead of just a gift. So you can do this for adults or kids. So like um, for kids, you could say, you can make it very clear to them, like this is your Christmas present or birthday present or something like that. Um, where do you wanna go? Do you wanna go to the trampoline park? Do you wanna go to the aquarium or the zoo or something like that? Like which of these like five places or something like that do you wanna go? An experience and you can make it clear to them, like this is your Christmas gift and maybe like you can get them a pretzel there or something like, you know what I mean? But it's like an experience as a gift. So I love doing this um, specifically for kids too, because you know kids are gonna get a ton of gifts anyway from like everybody and they don't really need anything else a lot of times. Um, but like to do an experience not only builds that bond with them as your, you know, as you as the mother or the aunt or the cousin or something, it builds that bond but it also like helps them understand that there are multiple kinds of like gifts, you know, and they don't see gifts as just things. They see it as your time and your, the quality time spent with you and, um, you know, doing things with you, like that's a gift. And I think it just expands our horizons a little bit on gifting, but also adults, like for a friend or something, you could literally be like, okay, your gift is you get to pick anything you want to for us to do this Saturday or next Saturday or whenever you're free or something like that. If you want to go to a movie and dinner or the mall, or you want to go to the zoo again, or rock climbing or something. If you want to go to any of these places or sing karaoke, I will pay for it. We will go. That's our, that's my gift to you. Like I, that'd be so cool. Expand your mind in the sense of also like gifts as things, you know, if you want to do that, um, you can thrift gifts, you can shop small and give that way you can create gifts or you can give experiences as gifts. And a lot of those things can be free too, you know what I mean? That being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will have all the links down below for Shaper Mint's sale. Um, again, they're giving away free shapewear when you shop, so go check it out. My code is down below as well. Um, they have such great quality clothing. 
anything. Um, I would honestly just peruse their whole site, look at everything they have, because they're probably going to have more than you even anticipate them having. And um, just know that anything you pick, you're not going to go wrong. So, um, but I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you soon. Bye!